Welcome back to Colster's Corner. Let's talk about fake news, political spin, misinformation, all of the things that make news reporting inaccurate these days. We need to give our students the skill set to sort through the noise, sort through the narratives, and to be able to fact find. And that's one of the things I'm focused on this nine weeks, is I'm focused on teaching the students how to sort through political narratives, misinformation, political spin, all of the noise that we have out there. You can watch two different TV news stations, listen to a story about the same events, and it sounds totally different completely different narratives, completely different spin. And what I tell the students is where those narratives intersect is where you can find the facts. So as an exercise this nine weeks, I'm giving the students several current events, having them sort through the noise, sort through the political narratives and fact find for me. Now I'm not choosing controversial ones. There should be, most of the facts should be fairly similar regardless of who's reporting them. But I do want them to get used to sorting through different news sources, different news media. Um, I always tell my students I want three different sources and preferably two of them to have different viewpoints and then sort through the noise and get to the facts. And I'll talk to you about how I'm doing that this nine weeks with uh, two of the current events I'm currently working on. Um, I will follow that up with several other current events to help my students develop this skill because it's a necessary skill. How did we get here? In 1987, there was a law called the Fair Doc, actually it was a rule by the FCC called the Fairness Doctrine. And they abolished it in 1987 after several court cases, if I understand it correctly. And once that uh, was removed, we ended up with just no, really no checks and balances for our news sources. Now they can just publish whatever they want. And um, unfortunately, a lot of people see it as accurate information when a lot of it's political spin. So let's give our students the ability to sort through the noise and fact find. And this is how we do it. I teach environmental science. So these are the current events that I'm gonna lead off with. Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, the, new, the tsunami that hit Japan and caused a nuclear disaster recently in the last decade or so, and the Gulf oil spill, which is relevant to us since I'm located in Florida. Neither of these are real controversial, although the last couple sentences of the questions I have for them might have some differences of opinion, but with Fukushima, they're gonna answer what happened, what environmental impacts occurred, what implications does this have for the Pacific Ocean and other countries, how many people died from the radiation, what, a long, what are the long-term prospects for those exposed to the accident? What part of the plant was damaged that led to this disaster? Could it have been prevented? Do you believe we should continue to use nuclear energy? Why? So the last one might have some political slant as far as articles go, but the facts should be consistent throughout the sources that they identify. With the Gulf oil spill, I'm gonna have them ask, answer the questions about what happened, what environmental impacts occurred, what implications does this have for the industries affected? Which company is responsible? What are the long-term prospects for the Gulf of Mexico? Could it have been prevented? Do you believe we should continue to use fossil fuels as an energy? Why? Why not? Do you believe we should continue to offshore drill in the Gulf? Why or why not? Again, the last two sentences there might be a little bit controversial, might have some different slants. So I'm gonna have the students identify three sources. Hopefully uh, at least one of those sources has a different viewpoint than a couple of the others where the facts intersect are gonna be the consistent facts we can go with. And it leads to a great discussion about fake news and uh, helps the students develop the skill set that they need to sort through the, all the political spin and the uh, slant and the uh, inaccurate facts out there. So um, I would encourage you to use some current events related to your subject area and then have the students uh, find three reputable sources. And like I said, it doesn't have to be APA format. They just need to tell me what the three sources were. I hope this helps. I encourage you to uh, 
include some different current events into your subject. I'm going to uh, do this several times uh, over the course of the next nine weeks. I'll probably do five or six different current events and we will uh, sort through the facts. Colster out.